In a shocking turn of events during Queen Mary of Denmark's recent visit to Nuuk, the capital city of Greenland, she found herself in a distressing situation when she was hit by a scooter. The incident has left both the public and the media reeling with questions about what exactly happened on that fateful day. But before we proceed, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Queen Mary, accompanied by King Frederick, Princess Josephine, and Prince Vincent, arrived in Nuuk, ready to engage in official duties and strengthen diplomatic ties. However, their visit took an unexpected and alarming turn as they ventured into the bustling streets of the city. In the midst of the excitement and anticipation surrounding the royal entourage, a scooter collided with Queen Mary, causing a moment of chaos and concern. A video capturing the incident, obtained by the Danish news agency Extra Bladet, has been circulating rapidly, leaving viewers stunned. In the footage, the unsuspecting Queen Mary can be seen struck by the scooter, losing her balance and being propelled forward. The sight of her in that vulnerable state has ignited a wave of worry among the onlookers and the public at large. Despite the sudden impact and the visible shock on Queen Mary's face, she remarkably managed to maintain her poise and avert a fall. Her composure in the face of such a disconcerting incident is a testament to her strength and resilience as a member of the royal family. The swift response of the Danish security and intelligence service guard assigned to Queen Mary's protection played a critical role in managing the situation. Acting promptly, the guard intervened and instructed the scooter rider to step back, ensuring the safety of the queen. The rider of the scooter, seemingly bewildered by the unexpected turn of events, expressed their confusion, stating, I do not know what happened, suggesting that the collision was unintentional. Following the incident, the communications department of the royal house promptly addressed the concerns and speculation surrounding Queen Mary's well-being. In a statement to Extra Bladet, they confirmed that a minor clash had indeed occurred but reassured the public that Queen Mary had not sustained any injuries. This announcement brought a collective sigh of relief, allowing the public to rest assured that their beloved queen was unharmed. The incident in Nuke serves as a stark reminder of the inherent unpredictability and challenges that come with public appearances, even for members of the royal family. It underscores the need for heightened vigilance and preparedness in ensuring the safety of those in the public eye. As Queen Mary resumes her duties in Nuke, the incident has sparked discussions about the safety measures in place during such visits. Authorities and security personnel are reviewing protocols to prevent similar incidents from happening in the future, aiming to strike a balance between providing accessibility to the public and ensuring the well-being of the royal family. While the incident may have been alarming, Queen Mary's unwavering composure and the efficient response of her security detail have demonstrated their professionalism and ability to handle unexpected situations. The incident will undoubtedly be a topic of conversation in the days to come, but it is a testament to the strength and resilience of Queen Mary and the Danish royal family. As the investigation into the incident continues, the people of Denmark and beyond will eagerly await further details to fully understand what transpired on that eventful day in Nuke. The incident serves as a reminder that even the most meticulously planned events can encounter unforeseen challenges, and it is through the collective efforts of individuals and security teams that such incidents can be promptly addressed and managed.